The college basketball season is facing a number of unknowns this season. The UNI men's basketball team canceled three games in December, one of them less than 24 hours before the game. The UNI women's basketball team recently faced a different change in plans. They had their conference opening opponent switched less than three days before game day. Brad Wells reports on how UNI made the changes and came away with two big victories. The UNI women's basketball team was 3-4 and four after non-conference play and had a top 25 victory on their resume. They were scheduled to open conference action against 24th ranked Missouri State at home Friday and Saturday. On Tuesday, Missouri State had a positive COVID test within their Tier 1 personnel, postponing the UNI versus Missouri State games. The same day, Valparaiso had a positive test as well, leaving Illinois State without an opponent, which then turned into Illinois State traveling to UNI and both teams restarting their preparation for two games. Tuesday night, we went from practicing in the morning thinking we're not going to play till uh, having the opportunity to play. And I talked with our staff and our captains, and our captains were like, let's do this. And obviously, we got some film, and coming into it, um, you know, they, they scout extremely well. They make you play to your weakness. They're very well coached. They had seven games of ours. We only had two on them, but we felt we had game experience. Coaches pointed towards focus and being scouting report correct as the most important key to the opening game. You and I held Illinois State's leading score to zero points while you and I was strong in the paint. Bree Gunnels had an 18.9 rebound performance and Megan Maz finished with 12 points and eight rebounds as you and I won 82-71 on Friday. Well, I thought we got great leadership out of Carly at the point. I thought she stayed aggressive. She made plays um, to get us the lead and get us that momentum and, and carry that. Her and Bree did a terrific job of making plays when we need, needed plays to be made. The weekend also included both teams' first crack at the new scheduling format of playing the same team on back-to-back -back days. The challenges of the unknown continued. It's going to come down to mental toughness. Neither team's going to make any my, you know, major adjustments. Uh, it's going to come down to mental toughness individually and collectively and whose ability to execute in terms of that, that mental toughness. After four players reached double figures for UNI in Friday's opener, Saturday again saw a variety in the offense. Cynthia Wolf scored 11 off the bench, Carly Rucker scored a team-high 19 points with three three-pointers, and Bree Gunnels had a double-double for the second time this season with 15 points, 14 rebounds, in a five-point victory. I mean, as an offensive coach, the number one thing that you need is balance, and we have it this year. Um, I know in the third quarter or fourth quarter of both games, I went to Coach Warren, we got four kids in double figures, three kids in double figures, and that's what's going to make us successful. We don't have any, any one kid, including Carly, that has to play well offensively for this team to be successful. Um, if we can continue to get Bree to be aggressive, she's going to score her points. I thought Cynthia Wolf was terrific in, on, uh, in Saturday's game, the second game of the series. Um, and, and if we can keep and get those little contributions off the bench, um, you know, offensively, that's going to make us hard to guard. I thought Megan responded making all our free throws down the stretch um, and obviously Carly and Bree were pretty consistent both games and, and Nicole Krager arguably hit the biggest three of the game. We're down 13, we're stagnant on offense and she buries one in the right corners. The two games were the first women's games at UNI with fans allowed to attend. The 15% capacity crowd was appreciated by the players on both teams. And being away from their families and being tested and only having a couple days at Christmas and playing in empty gyms, to have fans here and to actually hear them, not only their, their family members, their loved ones, but friends, people in the community. Um, it's something that I know our young women uh, appreciate, value, 